1,000 Thais who were born male now live as women. And increasing numbers of foreign transsexuals are choosing to travel to Thailand for their sex change procedures. Our Asia correspondent Holly Williams reports. Tim is a former British rail manager. Like thousands of foreign men, he's found love in Thailand. His partner Sally is a retired dancer, but she didn't start life as a female. There's the old saying, the best looking women in Thailand aren't. I find them more fun, more adventurous, more, um, in a way, I suppose, more feminine, because they have to make the effort to be so. By some counts, Thailand's home to more than 100,000 transsexuals. Born male, they live as women. In Thailand, they're known as ladyboys, and they even have their own beauty contests. Thai transsexuals are famous, but for all the wrong reasons. They're synonymous with the country's giant sex industry. Thousands of young transsexuals are swallowed up by the flesh trade. The reality, though, is that most ladyboys lead ordinary lives. Tui has been living as a woman since she was 14, with the full support of her family. I fit into society. I can get along with anyone. Being a transsexual isn't a problem. Thailand's open-minded attitude has helped make Bangkok the global hub for sex change surgery. Michelle Algreen and Jennifer Nichols have come here from Denver, Colorado. Welcome to Bangkok. Can I check the bottom part? Okay. Like many other transsexuals, they've dreamed of a sex change operation for years. But their decision to live as women has alienated many of their friends and family. I'm still the same person. That kid is still who I am now. Even though it was a little boy at the time, it's still me. It still has every, every feeling and emotion I've ever had in my... It's still me. Michelle's ex-wife encouraged her to seek religious counselling at their church. The main therapist that I went to, he, he tried to say that it was a cycle of Satan telling me that, that I'm a woman and that that was bad. Now they're taking the final irreversible step in their journey to become women. After this, there's no going back. Psychiatrists say many transsexuals suffer from gender dysphoria. Their body quite literally doesn't match up with their brain. For some, this radical surgery is the only answer. But for many transsexuals, some of whom have suffered a lifetime of emotional pain, it's a small price to pay for a body they can finally accept as their own. Holly Williams, Sky News, Bank.